thing's been consolidating forever. At some point, this thing's going to have a massive run. Look at this consolidation. It's done nothing since May of last year. Literally nothing. Just sat here and ranged between nine and five dollars. At some point, this is going to have just an absolute insane move. This is the range. So the move should blast off to 100% to up to 19 to $20. Uh, eventually, Link, Link is going to do something like that. I don't know when. It may not be anytime soon. Maybe we revisit five first. But if you can get it down here at like $5 or lower, you could, you could make a massive profit. <music> FTM broke out of this kind of consolidation range. Uh, it's only been about two days and you can see the price has already gone up quite a bit here. Uh, big breakout on RSI. Three day also looks great. Eight hour, four hour, we're getting a slight pullback. I think on this pullback is when you could possibly have a nice entry unless, unless this is a fake out, unless it's a huge fake out. But if not, and if this is real, uh, which normally these daily signals work pretty well, then price could head all the way up to 66 cents. That's what chaos is telling me. And that's it. That's like a conservative chaos level, by the way, kind of like, like this 63 right above these old highs from February, right, right around this area. Uh, and that is how much of an increase from here, almost 25% increase, not a bad trade, 25%. Uh, another one is mana. So mana on a daily chart looks nice. RSI looks like it's ready to just rip higher. Uh, this is the ABCD. I actually got from here, right? So price was like this and then we do this and we get a move that is 60 62 percent increase on decentraland uh so also looks looks decent now i'm not saying throw everything at this could still consolidate here for a bit but on a daily chart this this looks pretty good to me and like it's ready to make a move higher um and if we go to a slightly lower time frame we can look at this range i like to look at the entire range to see, okay, where can I draw my chaos level? This would be like a conservative, kind of a conservative range to look at right there. And that gives us a target at of 79 cents, which is not nearly as much as the ABCD is, but it, it's still, you know, pretty significant. Now, if I extend the range to whatever the maximum is, uh, it gives us to 90 cents. So let's say, let's say we only go to 90 cents or we only go right above these old highs. It's still a 36% move, not a small move. That's that's pretty good. Uh, if anybody was trading this in Stockland, they'd be like overjoyed. But the ABCD extension points to a BFRN of basically $1. Uh, so that's that's another coin to watch that I, I grabbed a bit of. So FTM, Mana, and I, I actually wanted to get DOP, but they didn't have it on the platform, I think, or the chart. There was something wrong with the chart. So Matic hasn't broken out yet. It's sitting right on the edge. Uh, you want to see it push higher, retest, and then head up. So that's that's what I'm kind of waiting on Matic. If I can see that with Matic, I will. I, I bought a little bit, but I will buy a lot more if this actually happens. Because right now it just hasn't it hasn't broken out of this this kind of consolidation yet. I want to see that break out, and then Chaos gives us a level of 1.4, but an 8.77 level of 1.6. So if it went to 1.6, that that's a pretty big move. But let's say it just only went to 1.4. Even then, it's, again, another 24, 25% move. A uh, further move would be the 50% to this 8.77. Both great moves, but it looks really good on a daily chart. Just kind of need that last final breakout. It could could get some consolidation and pull back until that happens. Like, this doesn't look this doesn't look fantastic on a four hour. On a four hour, I could even, I could see a pullback. And then you can get a lower time frame entry. I mean, maybe it does something like this. If we do get a pullback, we take out the lows and then reverse. That's also a possibility. So look, so look for something like this. And I'll probably buy if we come down here. Uh, otherwise, the move will be like this. Uh, or we'll just go straight up. Those three scenarios, kind of. That's what that's what's going to happen. Uh, in my opinion. So those are a couple I looked at. Uh, I did look at dot as well. And I think that it didn't look great. Yeah, dot kind of already took off and like took out a lot of highs. So I wasn't too excited about it. Although on the daily, it's not it's not terrible. It's just not as good for me as those other coins. It did break out nicely on the daily. Uh, and a potential move would be something like this would be a conservative chaos level to go to $8. And it's at $6.50 right now. So that's probably only probably the same as the other ones, right? At about 20%, 25%, $8. Yeah, 20. Isn't it ironic that they're all kind of 23%? I'm getting kind of the same chaos levels for every everyone. I think Ethereum's moved a bit already. If we look at Ethereum, yeah, Ethereum's kind of gone. It's already taken off a lot more than those lower cap coins. So that's why I'm that's why I'm talking about and showing the lower cap coins. Ethereum kind of already took off a, quite a bit. So that's why I'm not too enthused about Ethereum uh, and why I've talked about some of these like lower lower market cap altcoins.